Today we are going to learn how to make these cute and funky looking fishies. Uh, this is my first video for this new year. I'll mention the materials you need in the screen somewhere. As always, we'll start with a slip knot. In this video, you can see how I do the slip knot. There are many different ways to do a slip knot. In this project, we are working in a continuous round, like in a spiral. That means we don't finish each row, we just continue the row, continue into the next row. So for the first row, we are going to do a magic ring with six single crochets. I'm using the chain two method, but you can use any way you would like. So for the first row, place six single crochets in the magic ring. To make a single crochet, all you have to do is insert the hook through that first chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. I'm placing the sixth single crochet into that first chain and that marks the end of my first row. For row 2, we are doing increases, so into the first stitch, you are going to insert the hook and place two single crochets. Let's have a closer look, so as you can see, there are uh, two loops in each stitch. You must go through both the loops like this and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn under and pull up a loop so now I have two loops and yarn over and pull through both loops. Into the second stitch insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. Again into the second stitch insert the hook and place a single crochet. Into the third stitch place two single crochets. Into the fourth stitch Again, two single crochets into the fifth, two single crochets, and into the sixth. Also, you are going to place two single crochets. So, now by the end of row two, you will be having 12 stitches. So, if you count, you'll be having 12 stitches. This is how your work should look like by the end of row 2. For row 3, we are going to place one single crochet into the first stitch and two single crochets into the second stitch. So into the second stitch, you are going to do an increase. Always remember to mark your first stitch, uh, although I have not marked it. Into the third stitch again a single crochet and into the fourth you are going to place two single crochets. Into the fifth again a single crochet. Into the sixth stitch you are going to place two single crochets. So the pattern is single crochet increase and you are going to do this until you reach the end of row 2. This is our third row and by the end of this row we will be having 18 stitches. Now we are moving on to row 4. For row 4, into the first stitch you are going to place a single crochet and into the second stitch you are going to place two single crochets. And into the third stitch, a single crochet. And please remember to mark your first stitch in each row. So I've missed to mark the first stitch in the previous rows but I do know my first stitch so if you are a complete beginner please mark your first stitch into the fourth stitch again a single crochet into the fifth you are going to place two single crochets and into the sixth a single crochet into the seventh a single crochet into the eighth 
an increase or two single crochets into the ninth stitch you are going to place a single crochet so the pattern is single crochet increase single crochet you are going to do this for six times and by the end of row four you will be having 24 stitches I just finished row 4 and for row 5 we are going to place one single crochet into the first stitch into the second stitch a single crochet into the third stitch a single crochet and into the fourth stitch you are going to place two single crochets and increase don't forget to mark your first stitch into the next or the fifth stitch we are going to place one single crochet into the next also a single crochet into the next a single crochet into the next two single crochets so the pattern is three single crochet increase you are going to follow this until you reach the end of the row and i'll meet you there I'm at the end of that row and uh, doing the last increase so by the end of this row you will be having 30 stitches around you can count to make sure so for the next round we are just going to do single crochets into each of those stitches mark your first stitch don't forget it and just place single crochets into each stitch until you reach the end of that round this is our row number six and i'll meet you at the end i'm at the end of this row and we, since we didn't do any increases or decreases we will be having 30 stitches around also for the next five rounds you are just going to do the same thing place single crochets around this is what it looks like after five more rounds of single crochets so all together we have completed 11 rounds now for the next row row number 12 we are going to start doing decreases into the first stitch place a single crochet into the second stitch place a single crochet into the third again place a single crochet don't forget to mark your first stitch now we are going to do a decrease send your hook through the front loops of the fourth and fifth stitches like so and now yarn under or yarn over pull up a loop now you have two loops yarn over and pull through both loops into the next stitch place a single crochet into the next again a single crochet into the next a single crochet and go through the front loops of the next two stitches and place a single crochet continue until you reach the end and i'll see you there this is how your work should look like now for the next round we are again doing a decrease so into the first stitch place a single crochet Go through the front loops of the second and third stitches, yarn under, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops and into the next stitch place a single crochet. Mark your first stitch, follow the pattern single crochet, decrease single crochet and I'll meet you at the end. I am at the end of that row and by the end of this row you will be having 18 stitches. Now is a good time to fill up the fishy. You can use polyfill, scrap yarn, cotton wool, any kind of filling you have. I'm using polyfill here. So you are just going to fill it in and kind of make the shape as you go. Once you are happy with the amount of filling you have, move on to the next row. We are going to place a single crochet into the first stitch and into the next two stitches 
we are going to do a decrease so now you know how to do a decrease so the pattern is single crochet decrease and you are going to do this for six times i'll meet you guys at the end of this row i am at the end of that row doing the last decrease let's move on to our final row so for this row you are going to just decrease single crochet two together all around until you reach the end of that row and by the end you will be left with only six stitches as you can see i am going through the front loops making the decreases so in the previous round we were left with 12 stitches so i am decreasing all around and i will be left with six stitches so once you reach the end you are going to leave enough tail to sew the hole close and cut your yarn This is our funky fishies body and the body is complete. Now we have to um, sew this hole close. For that I'm using a darning needle or you could call it as a tapestry needle I think. We are going to just insert the needle through the front loops of the last 6 stitches like this. Just go through the front loops. After you go through all the six front loops, you are going to pull from that tail. Then the hole will get closed. Like this. After that, all you have to do is hide the tail. Just send your needle through the project and hide the tail. Next, I'm going to make the fishies eyes. So for that, I'm using this kind of um, cream colored white yarn, no, cream yarn. This is also milk cotton, four ply. And we are going to start with a slip knot. For round one, you are going to make a magic ring with six single crochets. So as you know, I'm using the chain two method make two chains and into the first chain place six single crochets So I have made six single crochets and now for the next row we are going to make one single crochet into the first stitch. Into the second stitch you are going to place two single crochets. Into the third stitch a single crochet. Into the fourth stitch two single crochets into the fifth stitch one single crochet and into the sixth stitch two single crochets so by the end of row two you will be having nine stitches for row three we are just going to place single crochets around so make a single crochet into each of the nine stitches and by the end of row three again you will be having nine single crochets i just finished making row three now I'm going to leave enough tail 
to sew the fish's eyes onto the fish and cut the yarn, pull it out and finish off. This was just one eye, you are going to follow the same pattern and make another eye since we need two eyes for our fishy. I have completed both the eyes. Now let's make fishy's mouth. For this I'm using a, a grey or ash colour yarn, also milk cotton. For this I'm gonna chain 6. And into the very first chain, we are going to make a slip stitch. So insert your hook into the first chain, pull up a loop and pull all the way through. So this is going to form a circle chain kind of thingy and then you are going to cut off the yarn and finish off. That was the mouth of our fishy and now let's move on to make the fins. As usual start with the slip knot. To make the fins we are also changing our hook into a 3.5mm hook. So first you are going to chain 2 and into the first chain we are going to make half double crochet. So yarn over and into the first chain. Insert your hook. Pull up a loop. yarn over and pull through all three so that is our first half double crochet and you are going to make another half double crochet into the first chain into the same chain again yarn over insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through all so that was our third half double crochet and again, just insert the hook, pull up a loop and pull all the way through. We are ending with a slip stitch. So that is just one fin. You are going to make two and I'll meet you. I'm using the same pattern, chain 2 and into the first chain, I'm going to make 3 half double crochets and end with a slip stitch. So that was my first half double crochet, my second half double crochet and my third half double crochet and ending with a slip stitch. So my two side fins are done and all we have left to make is the back fin. Let's make the back fin. As usual we are going to start with a slip knot and for this also I'm using the 3.5 millimeter hook. I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five chains and I'm going to yarn over and into the second stitch I'm going to insert the hook into the third stitch from the hook and make a half double crochet. So pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Again into the next I'm going to make a half double crochet. Now we are at the very first stitch. Into that we are going to make a half double crochet. So all together I have done 3 half double crochets and finish with a slip stitch. Insert the hook, yarn under, pull up a loop and pull all the way through. So 3 half double crochets and a slip stitch. Now to make the other side of the back fin we are going to chain 5 
five yarn over and into the third stitch from the hook you are going to place a half double crochet into the third insert the hook and place a half double crochet into the next again a half double crochet into the next a half double crochet and unlike the other part we are straight away going to place a slip stitch into the first chain of the other side of the fin i don't know whether you can understand you can see we are going to make a slip stitch into here insert the hook pull up a loop and pull all the way through so if you see like an opening like this you can pull from the tail and close it so this is the back fin leave enough tail to attach the fin to the body and cut the yarn and finish off all the necessary parts have been completed now it's time to attach them i am going to count approximately six rows down and this is where the mouth is going to be i'm going to mark it using a pin after that uh, i'm going to kind of go in a line with that pin towards the back count nine rows from the top and this is where we are going to fix our back fins so mark it with a pin as well so now you can see this is going to be the back fin approximately nine rows down and this is going to be the yellow pin will be the mouth one two three four five six rows down Let's attach the back fin first. You can refer to the video if you want to see how I attach the back fins and the other parts. So basically you just have to make sure that the attached parts won't come undone. So this is how I like to attach. I use the two strands separately to join them to the body. Once you are finished hiding the tails, you can cut the excess tail. So next let's fix the mouth. I'm going to remove the pin and attach it again like this. So this is where we are going to fix the mouth approximately six rows down. To sew the mouth to the body, I'm going to send the needle through the body and through the back loop of the chains. As you can see, I'm going through the chain as well as the body alternatively. So you are going to do this around the mouth.
once you are finished as usual you are just going to hide the tail and cut off the excess yarn I'm using the crochet hook here to hide the tail you can use the darning needle as well and next let's fix the eyes You can of course adjust the placements as you like but if you do wish to make the fishy just like my one I fixed the eyes approximately 3 rows down from the top and about 4 stitches apart and I get them out to the middle so those are the placements after that with the help of a pin you can keep the eyes in place and start sewing the eye to the body just like how you sew the mouth we are going to go through the body and the back loop of the eye alternatively back loop of the last row of the eye so i'm trying to give a closer look to you guys there are two loops in each chain i'm going through the back loop now You are going to go through the back loop once and then go through the body. Go through the back loop, go through the body. After you sew around like half of the eye, you are going to put a little bit of polyfill inside to maintain the shape of the eye um, and continue sewing it. In the same way, you are going to attach the other eye to the body too and what I'm doing here is grabbing the two yarn tails from the two eyes and making a knot so that they won't untie and then I am continuing to hide the tail. We are almost at the end, we have to attach the two side fins and for this I am going to straight away use the two yarn strands in each fin and send them through the needle. After that I am going to count two stitches downwards from the eye and two stitches backward from the eye. That is the place where I am going to attach the fin. So I've just finished attaching the parts, now the final touches. I'm going to fix the eyes using 2-6000 glue. 
Now it's time to make the little sprout on top of the fish's head. For that, as always, you're gonna start with the slip knot. You're going to chain 5. And then you're going to yarn over and into the third chain from the hook, you're going to make a half double crochet. This is basically the same pattern as the back fin. Yarn over and into the third chain, make the first half double crochet. And yarn over into the next, place a half double crochet. And yarn over and into the first, very first chain, place a half double crochet. So we've reached the end and we are going to finish off with the slip stitch. And then again you are going to make 5 chains and follow the same pattern. Yarn over and into the third chain from the hook, place a half double crochet. And into the next, again a half double crochet. And into the next, a half double crochet. And into the very first chain we did, we are going to place a slip stitch. After that, you are going to cut off the yarn. Leave enough tail and cut the yarn. Our little leaf sprout is complete. We are going to attach it to the very top of the fish's head. And our funky looking fishy is complete, so this is how it looks like. The other addition to our aquatic amigurumi babies, the octo and the veiling. If you have not checked them out, do check them out if you like. And if you do make one of these babies, please share it with me on Instagram so that everybody can see and I can share it to my stories. You can also support me on my coffee shop. And you can even adopt plushies there. I also have some patterns on my coffee shop. And I have Amigurumi tester coils on Instagram. So join with me there too. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.